Alam mo, ang tagal kong hinintay ang tape nyo. Sabi nila, noon wala na kasi hindi raw nag-click yung una. Oh. Hey guys, we got mail. Fan mail from the mid-90s. I've kept these all these years. We're gonna take a look at them. First time ko tong babasahin ulit in ages. Man, I can't even remember kung kailan ko last sinilip ito. When we released our first album, River Maya, we had a P.O. box where fans could send us letters from all over the world. Kung kilala niyo ako, ever since, I always do my best to keep in touch with the people who appreciate my art. My music. So, kahit nung 90s pa lang, um, 1993, 94, sumasagot na ako sa fan mail. I answered every single mail by hand. Wala pa kasing email nun. I've kept some of them here and I want to show them. I want to share them with you. Randomly read some, siguro. Oops. They're very colorful. This one is a nice. It's got a nice um, 80s style. This one is from April 6, 1995. Ever dearest Rico. Ito yung autograph ko kasi nun eh. Ganito ako mag-sign ng autographs nun. Pabaliktad yung sulat, tas yung O. Ginaganyan ko. Peace be with you always, with us as well. First and foremost, I would like to say sorry for the delay of my response. See? Sumusulat ako sa kanila eh. So, reply na nila to sa akin. Frankly speaking, I really can't believe my eyes at this reality. A handwritten message coming from you. Uh, you know what, Rico? I'm very, very flattered with your gesture. Some artists barely do this. A handwritten message to their fans. Anyway, thank you for making me feel so very important. Thanks for being a friend. I was praying for River Maya sound body and mind. I miss you guys. Out of town kasi kayo eh. Thanks, Dea. This is very sweet. Unang bunot pa lang, gold na agad. Okay, kukupa tayo ng isang random. Okay. Dear Rico, hi, kumusta na? Summer na ang init, no? Ano bang next single nyo after Kisap Mata? Sana Himala. Well, Ethel, natupad nga ang wish mo. Kisap Mata nga ang naging single namin after Himala. Nice. Ito si Jean, tsaka si Janice. Magkaibigan to eh. Dear Rico, hello, I hope you're fine. I mean, dapat lang, you're more than fine. Because we have been requesting moment, yung kisap mata, moment daw, on RX93. Nakakukulitan na yata sa amin. <laughs> See, real people requesting for our songs on radio. Pero sana, kanta ka naman. Something like, bring me down. Okay, bye. Thanks for signing my shirt. Fast forward, many years later, I sang all the songs. <laughs> Ayaw na nila. Oh. Dahil joke lang. Ito, transparent yung stationery, pati yung envelope. Dear Rico, how do you do? I hope you're doing fine. Likewise to Bamboo, Mark, and Nathan. So this is from January 7, 1996, 8.10 p.m. May oras pa. I really admire the way you trickle, tickle, tickle your guitar. <laughs> I am patiently waiting for your much-awaited second album. Huh? January 96. I thought we'd already released the second album by January 96. Baka wala pa sa lugar nila. And please write back to me because I wanted to know more about you. Thanks. Oh no, hindi ko masyado mabasa yung handwriting. Tara, Nara. Kala ko, 95, naka-release na kami ng second album. Baka early 96. This one is... Came in a Budweiser envelope. Hi, hello, kumusta na? Long time no communication, ha? Ano bang mga balita dyan? Kwento ka naman. At saka nga pala, matanong nga kita ulit, nagsastart na ba kayong mag-record ng mga kanta para sa third album? See? December 1996. So, 97 yung third album. Nagre-recording sessions na ba talaga kayo? Parang ngayon maniwala, ah. <laughs> It's one of the best birthday gifts yung pinayagan ako manood ng field trip. Yun yung concert namin nun, field trip sa Coneta Astrodome. Pinayagan ako manood ng field trip na unchaperoned. 
Kaso nga lang, after that, bihira na ako lumabas kasi lagi na akong nagkakasakit. Ay, before I forget, congrats. Alam mo bang number one sa year-end OPM countdown ng RX yung Himala. Number three, yung kisap mata. At number 13, yung panahon na naman. As if you didn't know. That was cool. So, Himala was number one. Kisap mata was number three. I'm guessing number two and number four is eraser heads. That's cool info. Keep on making good music and advance happy birthday kina Mark and Nathan. Kumusta mo ako sa bandmates mo? Thank you, Vanny, for that trip to 1996. December 1996. That's a good year, 1996. Ano to? Parang sinunog yung ano yung gilid. Style. Rico, happy birthday. MB Arieta. Yun lang. Yun lang laman ng letter niya. Pero pinaghirapan yung ano ah. Thank you. March 15, 1995. My birthday is March 17. Tumatanggap pa rin po ako ng ano. Regalo. Joke lang. Kahit birthday wishes lang. Darwin Villanueva ng La Union. Ayos. Astig, yung envelope niya, ano, recycled. Kasi uh, parang scratch paper lang, tinupi niya. At ginawa niyang envelope. <laughs> Fragile. Oh. Tinawing niya pa ako. Ganyan yung buho ko noon. Bunot na blue. February 21, 1996. Rico, bibili ko lang ng tape nyo. Yung bago, syempre. So, let's talk about your new album. Swerte nito, si Wills ang nag-drawing. Yes, super swerte namin. He's talking about the trip album, Wills Portasio. The Wills Portasio did our cover art. Dun sa mga hindi nakakaalam. I-google nyo kung sino si Wills Portasio. We're very proud. He's a great... Fantastic illustrator. Legendary sa comics world. Anyway, masensya na kung parang bulul-bulul yung pagbabasa ko ng letter sa Yung iba-iba kasing handwriting, hindi ako masyado magaling mag-decipher ng handwriting. Sana nga pala bigyan mo naman ako ng sticker or anything from your room. Kasi I really collect memorabilia. If not, galing sa gitara mo, pick distorted string or anything. Sorry nga pala at ganito tong sulat ko kasi my right hand is broken and I used my left. Oh, okay, well that explains. Wow, this is pretty good considering you used your non-writing hand. Alam mo, ang tagal kong hinintay ang tape nyo. Sabi nila noon wala na kasi hindi raw nag-click yung una. Okay. Tsaka may nabasa rin ako album review about your first album. Ang sabi sa rating, passiveness kills. Quote unquote. Masyado daw slow ang tugtugan nyo. It sucks daw. Ang rating nga, poor. What can you fucking say to that bullshit reporter? <laughs> Sorry for the bullshit words I used. <laughs> okay lang yung words mo. Actually, wala naman talaga akong masyadong pakialam ever since sa uh, critics. I would care more if the person who gave me criticism, halimbawa kung si Chito Miranda yan, o si Gary Valenciano, o si Joey Ayala ang nagbigay ng comments niya tungkol sa work namin, mas bibigyan ko ng halaga yung opinion nila. But actually, to be honest, kasi nasa banda ako noon, yung pinaka-importanting opinion for me were my bandmates. Kaya ko nga sila naging kabanda dahil gusto ko yung taste nila. Ang mataas ang respeto ko sa kanila. Ang, ang importanteng opinion lang sa akin, gusto ba namin? Gusto ba ng mga kasama ko sa banda? Kung gusto ni Nathan, ni Bamboo, ni Mark, yung mga songs that time, that's all I cared about. Diba? Ngayon, kung magustuhan din ng ibang tao o ng critics yung mga songs namin, eh di Pag hindi, okay lang. Kasi gusto naman siya ng mga taong pinaka-respetado ko. Isang siguro advice din yun kung if you're a music artist and you read um, criticisms about your work, tingnan mo kung sino yung nagsasalita. Or, or kahit sa buhay, no? kahit hindi ka artist. If you receive criticisms or negative comments about you, siguro bago ka ma-affect, tingnan mo muna kung sino yung nagsasabi. Diba? Eh kung anonymous, random, diba, online account yan, na wala man lang picture or hindi sinasabi kung sino siya, maybe hindi ka dapat masyado ma-apekto doon. Kung magpapa-apekto ka sa negative criticism, dapat magpa-apekto ka rin sa positive. Ang kadalasan nagiging problema ng ibang artist or tao in general, apektado tayo pag negative, pero pag positive parang hindi naman natin tinitreasure or vina-value yung positive na comments. 
lugi ka doon pag ganun yung gagawin mo. But nila kayo pinapakialaman. Eh kanya-kanyang trip yan, di ba? Exactly. Wow, heavy. Anyway, I'm still here to support you at hindi ako mawawala. Please send memorabilia. Keep on playing, strumming, plucking, singing, rocking from Darwin. Thank you, Darwin. From La Union. Ito. Do you even know what this is? Wow. This is so cool. Ah, uh, how do you? From Cecil. How do you read this? I start here. Rico, hello. Musta na bang buhay RM? Ito. Natripan sulatan sa disc. Pero wag mong itusok to sa 486 mo. I had a badass. 486. Bilis na nun. 486. Why did my fans know I had, I had a 486? So this is cool. Super cool. Ma'a. Oh, kalala ko to. Feb 18, 1996. Rico, what's up? First of all, your second album is not that nice. I don't like some of the songs and it's not worth buying. Joke lang. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's nice. I mean, great. Trip ko nga eh. So, Trip is the title of our album. Okay, yung mga songs. I like Out of Reach, Himala, Sunog, Hilo, Kundi Man, Panahon na naman. Of course. In other words, lahat. Nung nasa RX kayo, nagkataon dumating parents ko. Nakikinig naman daddy ko. Kinikwento nga kita sa kanya eh. Sabi nga niya, invite kita dito. Ha ha ha. Pupunta ka ba naman? Anyway, saan ka ba nakatira? Oh, Firefly Street, Valley si I lived here for about 5-6 years. Parang familiar to me. Ito medyo makapal. Hindi makapal yung tao ah. Makapal yung letter. From Mary Claire. Rico, hello. Sana nasa mabuti kang kalagayan. Sorry sa lahat ng sinabi ko tungkol sa eraser heads. Magalit ka man sa akin, wala akong magagawa. Pinakaayaw ko sila na banda, ha? So, sana maintindihan mo ko. Alam ko namang paborito mo sila. Sorry talaga. I hope we will be friends together. Compose more good songs. Congratulations sa Gold Platinum Award na natanggap mo. More awards to come. River Maya forever. Well, Claire, let's agree to disagree. I'm still the number one Eraserheads fan. But if you don't like them, you're right. Wala akong magagawa. Kanya-kanya tayong opinion. Katulad nga nung sinabi ni Darwin sa letter niya. Kami naman, ayaw naman ng critics yung River Maya. And we got hate mail too. But at least they write. So, she didn't like our album. Honestly speaking, ulan ang awit ng youth lang ang magandang songs. Kaya nga hindi ako bumili ng album yun. I'd rather buy a hip-hop album kasi I'm collecting alternative tapes. So, I guess, pag sinabi niyang hip-hop, it's supposed to be a bad thing back then because there was a rock versus hip-hop thing. That's so funny now. <laughs> Pareho lang kayong baduy. She names a couple of other bands na sabi niya baduy. But yeah, we got hate mail too. Pero may effort, di ba? Ngayon, gagawa ka lang ng fake account. Ito, mukhang sa notebook pa to eh. Sa classroom to, mukhang hindi nakikinig to sa classroom. Okay na. Uh, madaya kayo kasi nung nasa La Union pa kayo at ako. I was expectant of your concert. Hindi kayo pumunta. Kung hindi ako nag-aral sa uste, hindi ko pa kayo makikita in person. Yung mga song mags ko noong high school na naiwang ko pa sa La Union, puro kayo ang cover. Kaya lang hanggang ngayon, I haven't mastered the guitar. Na-excite naman ako dahil nalaman ko yung address mo. At first, I only knew na taga San Pedro ka kasi may nag-vandal sa chair ko and yun ang nilagay. What? Binu-vandalize sa school yung address ko. Don't be alarmed pero ang daming naka-forge na Rico and Nathan sa CR ng AB Commerce. <laughs> Alright. So, these were our glory days when people would write our names in the CR. <laughs> So now, my life is complete. Narating ko na yung pangarap ko. Nasulat na yung pangarap ko sa CR. Sa girl CR. Maybe sometime next week, makakabili na ako ng trip. Medyo na-delay kasi bawal ang pagbili ng tapes sa akin nung high school. Courtesy of my savings, listen to this, kids. Hindi na ako tinitipid ngayong college na ako. I'll be able to avail a copy sa wakas. So kids, you have no idea how lucky you are that music is so accessible to you guys. You don't even have to save so much. I mean, not compared to before. 
di ba? You just, konting internet connection, you have unlimited music in your hands. Pag may bagong release, meron na agad kayo. These guys had to save from their baon, magsisave sila para makabili ng albums namin. This generation is so lucky. But I think we're lucky too, because we experienced life this way. They didn't take our albums for granted. You know, pinagipunan nila, so they would listen to every track. As uh, someone who creates, that's like the best thing ever. Reina, thank you for that letter. Okay, here's another one. Parang map. I, I hope you received my card. RB. No one used to call me RB. But these days, everyone calls me RB. So, ano to? Visionary. <laughs> I've been hearing and reading a lot of good things about you. Buti naman at nananahimik na ng konti, konti lang, yung mga detractors nyo. We had detractors. A lot of detractors. We still do. <laughs> I still do. My crazy classmates have released another batch of observations about your group. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Nathan is kenkoy but a bit childish. Take note of the word bit. Bamboo is okay, kaso medyo antisocial daw. Some find his singing barefooted cute, but I don't. The floor isn't always clean, and he might get, um, worms. Di naman, nililinis naman namin yun stage. Mark has a lot of admirers here, but I find him too tame for me. But I heard that he's the friendliest. Is it true? As for you, ano nga ba? Ako. Well, We've noticed that you're always wearing striped shirts. All of us agree that you look better with your hair tied. Kaya I tied my hair today. Buti na lang TV appearances nyo, nakatali ka. But as for the live performances, dot dot dot. Wala na. Oh, I guess they didn't like it. Sayang, awit ng kabataan didn't do as well as ulan ng 214. See, this is what I keep telling people. As big a classic Awit has become, it never became a hit song. I think there was only one radio station that played it, or two. Because most radio stations told us, Shadow do Maingay. But, you know, it was one of our favorite songs to play live. So we just kept playing it live. I give this advice to, you know, musicians, artists these days. They get a little deflated. Parang nadadown sila pagka nag-release sila ng song tapos hindi umakit sa charts, hindi pinatugtog sa radyo. Sabi ko, basta tugtugin nyo lang sa gigs. And, and ito lagi yung example ko, Awit ng Kabataan. Sayang Awit ng Kabataan didn't do as well as Ulan ng 214. Fast forward to today, it's just as big as any of our other songs, you know? If I told you that it was, wasn't a hit, it, it'd be very hard to believe. I guess you've got a ton of letters but to read. Yeah, for this episode, we're gonna read, try to read a few more. You're so popular na talaga, pati Cebu, ini-invade nyo na. I wanna share with you our first trip to Cebu. This is how much I love Cebu. Uh, whether it's a big open area concert or a mall show, it's just my absolute, or, or a convention center na ticketed. It's just my favorite place to play. And I don't know why. Like, the other favorite places to play is Tacloban, Iloilo, you know, or Palawan, where my cousins are from. Kasi yung Tacloban, my mom's from Tacloban, my dad's from Iloilo, so I get that. But, iba talaga yung Cebu, there's so much love when I play there. So I go back to around 95, 96, when we first went to Cebu. It was our first out of town, my first out of town concert na may aeroplano. My parents told me, oh, ingat ka, you call ito, itong number, ganyan. So, nag-gig kami sa Cebu. The next day, balik sa Manila, yung banda. I stayed in Cebu for another week. <laughs> That's how much I love Cebu. I stayed there, made a lot of friends, crashed some of the campuses using fake IDs, and just hung out with really cool people. Yeah, I love Cebu. Mactan Bridge. Hey, you. What happened? What happened to you? We never got the chance to say daghang salama to you. We really enjoyed your concert. Too bad it ended so late. Anyway, it was great. Even better than last year's performance. Not that last year's wasn't good, but this year was really different. Nindot good kaayo. Anyway, enough of that. We hope to see you soon, whenever, wherever. Loving you yours. Provi, Sharon, Susan, Katrina, Kathy, Vanessa, Cello. I remember these guys. Sharon actually had, eventually had a shop here in, in Manila, right above the Sagiho. So this barcade with, with Kate Peralba, who also became a highly regarded uh, singer-songwriter herself. Edmonton from Canada. 
Okay, dear Rico, we only got to chat for a short moment, but maybe you will remember me. I'm the red-haired one of the Canadian delegates. Alam ko na to, World Youth Day to. Anyways, I want to thank you again for the wonderful welcome you and your friends gave us last January 10th. The singing and dancing was beautiful. We had so much fun and we'll never forget it. River Maya performed. All the bands were set to perform. Ang problema, maraming hindi na makapasok na puno na yung venue eh. Hindi lang ng delegates, but pati ng mga audience. No? So, uh, medyo nagkaroon ng situation sa labas ng bakod. And if you were there, please hit the comments. I want to know what your experience was. But what I remember was we were told that we could only play slow songs. So I want to say sorry to everyone because we did not play slow songs. Kasi sabi ko parang, you invited us here to play our songs. We were excited to play Awit ng Kabataan, which was our single then. At saka World Youth Day. Parang sobrang excited kami. We were so stoked that we, were, we get to play Awit ng Kabataan in World Youth Day. So we played it. And I heard nagkagulo-gulo na raw yata sa labas ng venue. And the organizers decided to stop the show. And a lot of our friends, the other bands that we were hanging out with for couple of hours backstage, hindi na rin sila nakatugtog. So, medyo nagigilty ako doon, but maybe it wasn't our fault. Maybe if it was better organized. I don't know. Too long ago, but I I'm just bummed that the other bands didn't get to play and that the party had to end. This one is from someone who used my uh, letterhead. Hindi ko alam paano siya nagkaroon, but this is my letterhead. Uh, ng SK chairman ako. And ito ako. Honorable. Wow, honorable. So, hindi nakakaalam. I was a founding SK chairman. So, the first time nagkaroon ng SK, Sangguniang Kabataan. Chairman ako sa San Pedro, Laguna, sa San Vicente. Actually, ganito yon. Nabasa ko siya sa local government code. Yes, ganun ako kanoid. Na merong, there should be such a thing as the Sangguniang Kabataan. So, tinanong ko dad ko, Dad, paano ba to? Because I wanna participate. I want to be a chairman. Tinanong namin sa barangay namin, they knew nothing about it. Tinanong ko sa local government namin sa San Pedro. I spoke with the DILG officer. He didn't know anything about it. I wanted to file my candidacy. So lumipas yung unang period and wala. Walang SK. Tapos in-announce ng government and I think nag-file ako ng candidacy ko and nag na na naman yun. Parang wala na naman nag-participate. So actually kung natuloy yun, <laughs> I might have been the only SK chairman and therefore baka ako yung representative kasi pipili kayo ng magiging magiging kagawad siya sa town tapos magiging regional siya, provincial and then magiging congressman kasi nga. I might have been the only one so I would have been congressman maybe kaso ang panget kasi baka ako lang din yung constituent ko like who am I representing so that's trivia for you okay so medyo mahaba. Dear Rico, how's the band doing? How's everybody? Kaming magkakabarkada, bumubuo ng banda. Kaya kita sinulatan dahil nakonsensya na ako. Naalala mo pa ba yung Mayrix last Feb 25 na nag-apologize ka sa amin dahil hindi pumunta si Bamboo sa Mapua last Feb 24? Sabi mo pa nga, sorry kung hindi nakarating si Bamboo. Ah oh, shit, I remember this. It's the only concert na nagka-miscommunication na nag-result na si Bamboo hindi nakarating. I had to do vocals. Hindi pa ako vocalist nun. Si Bamboo pa talagang vocalist. This was 1996 siguro? Or 95? So, sanay ang tao na si Bamboo kumakata. So, you can just imagine the whole set ng River Maya naka-bad sign halos yung buong audience sa akin. Well, not yung buong audience, but it felt that way. Uh, yung iba naka-raise talaga yung finger nila the whole time while I was singing. Nadidinig ko yung mga mura eh. Hindi naman ganun kalakas yung sound system. I could hear. I can't forget that night. And I won't forget this person also. Nung sinabi ko na sorry, hindi nakarating si Bamboo. Nung sinabi niya, hindi naman kayong pinunta namin yan. No? Which I reacted to. And Bamboo's then girlfriend, now his wife. I remember she defended me that time. And medyo uminit ulo namin. Yeah, I remember that. I should remember this as the closure to that. Because she did apologize and explain. Kasi hindi ko alam na nandun kayo. Shock pa nga ako pagdating namin sa Mapua nung nakita namin River Maya. At saka gusto ng barkada ko makita yung Yano. Yano lang talaga ang sinadya namin doon. Gusto ko mag-apologize, magpaliwanag, mag-sorry, linawin, iklaro, sabihin, iksplika. Yung sinabi kong hindi naman kayo yung pinunta namin doon kundi Yano. 
I'm sorry talaga kasi naasar lang ako. Parang gusto mong palabasin na si Bambo lang ang pinunta namin. Ang totoo, pinunta namin doon, kundi River Maya, Yano, at ang long lost friend naming taga Mapua. Hindi lang si Bambo. Ang konsensya ako, baka nagalit ka, kaya humingi ako ng sorry. Kahit na wala doon si Bambo, andun ka naman, di ba? Mr. Bring Me Down, chief songwriter and keyboardist. Kaya sorry talaga. I guess that's the public. <laughs> first time to see me perform live and there was a lot of drama around it at least for us tao din kami so pag nangaratan ka ng isang buong gig usually wala naman nakakagawa ng sa akin nung time na yun kasi bababaan ko talaga sila sa stage and that's another story and my team would always have to restrain me but that one time I let them flick their finger the whole night and shout expletives at me because I felt like yeah we really we disappointed them and we deserved it masakit sa akin yun and isa yun sa reasons bakit medyo takot din ako nung nawala si Bams and sinabi nila ni Ethan na ako na lang kumata for River Maya kasi that night medyo hindi ko hindi ko makalimutan but I'm glad I went through these letters nakita ko ulit tong letter na to which frankly I forgot about this one so this is a nice a noise I wouldn't say heal some wounds kasi wala namang wound but kung negative yung memory ko of that night in Merix, at least kahit pa paano ngayon, napaliwanag naman. Siguro dinit mo yung letter niya yun. Siguro pikon pa rin ako. So this is really a blast to go through these letters. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you're one of those people na nakatanggap ng letter from me, uh, please leave a comment here on YouTube or get in touch with me sa other social media accounts ko. Share mo naman yung, ano, yung letter ko if you have a copy there. Uh, some have done that. May mga nakita ko sa Facebook yata. Inattach nila yung letter ko sa kanila o sa Twitter. It's so cool to see how stupid my writing was <laughs> before. This is such a great episode. I didn't think I would enjoy it this one as much as I ended up doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed going down memory lane with me today on this episode. Um, I had fun. Yun lang po muna sa ngayon. Hanggang sa muli. Corex po. Paalam. Rico admitted in his letter that he doesn't know why their band is called River Maya. Yeah, and how we thought of the band name? Oh wait, in another episode. So stay tuned for that one. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Click that and click that. Okay?